Tom and Jeff show. Here with Jeff, the singer of Gravity Hills. Former awesome singer. Former awesome. <laughs> Formerly <laughs> awesome. The artist formerly known as yeah. being awesome. Formerly awesome. <laughs> <laughs> St. Louis band Gravity Kills. Who is still awesome. Still, I'm sure. totally kidding. How Never excited played. are you to be back in St. Louis playing the show with the Earth tonight? Oh, I'm coming out of my skin. It was just over just over at the venue, and uh, it's a madhouse, and the guys are excited. I'm excited. It's great to be back in St. Louis. You know, I've, yeah. I've been driving around all day, and we were talking earlier mm -hmm. before we started doing this stuff. And it's just it's really cool to be back because you kind of feel like, you know, it's... It's strange, but at the same time, everything's so familiar. Right, the hometown vibe. You yeah, know, you know where everything is and what you like around here, and you can just go back. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, earlier today, walked up and down the loop, and it was cool. You know, just like wow, this is I really miss it. And I like where I live now. I'm not gonna diss on <laughs> where I'm living now, um, but no, St. Louis is a brilliant town. Nothing beats your hometown. Right. Really. Yeah. So what have you guys been up to since oh, your God. crazy, crazy success in the 90s? Now, what have we been up to? Um, let's see. Well, let's go to the guys. Kurt. Um, Kurt designs. He's an architect, so he designs, like, he works for companies like CBS Radio and Learfield Communication and companies like that. Mm -hmm. And he designs studios for them. Uh, Doug has Shock City Studios down on Gravelloy. Um, he's had that for several years. And Matt, before the band, he was a mechanical engineer, and he's still a mechanical engineer. And and I book and sell talent to companies and casinos and clubs. When you guys first started, you know, you relied on CDs to be sold and all that kind of stuff. But now with iTunes and Pandora and YouTube, how is that changing your name? What is it helping you or hurting you, or do you have more of a following since technology's changed? It's a tough question to answer, I think. But you know, in, in a way, I think that we do have more fans. I think what's happened with the internet is that the internet has made music timeless in a way. You know, because you know, if we go back to radio or MTV and places that Gravity Kills flourished in the 90s, um, you know, once you're off MTV or once you're off the radio, then, you, you know, the music's sort of forgotten about a little bit. And now with YouTube, you know, Pandora, Slacker, Songs of Spotify, yada, 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 now people can discover music. Uh, in fact, the guy that does our official Gravity Kills YouTube channel uh, he lives in England, he's 18 years old, and just discovered the band last year in a video game. Wow. And is just, an, he's an insane fan. Wow. That's awesome. And so to him, it's not old music. You know, it's not like, oh yeah, I've heard this stuff. He's like, you know, he's discovering all this stuff. And the guys, the kids found stuff that I don't have. He's found remixes of things and, and like, just crazy stuff. And I'm like, where are you find? Oh, found it on, you know, it's like, <laughs> you know, and he's found all this stuff. So it's, that's, in, in a way, that's, it's really, really, really cool. The tough thing is, if you're a new band, you know, we were lucky. We were, you know, we, we had labels, you know, all over the world spending millions of dollars to brand a band. You know, now, the, those barriers to entry are gone, but now how is a new band to get any attention? Mm -hmm. You know, and you, I'm sure you guys feature, feature, you know, maybe there's a band that you feature that you could turn people on to here and there, but it's like, there's so much music now. Mm -hmm. And everybody's listening to so many different things. The people living in their niches. You now you, you and your, you and your best friend, may not even know. It's like you may not even listen to the same bands at all. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, so it's like you and you probably listen to bands that they haven't even heard of. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And it's not. Yeah. You know, so it's so in a way, it's you know, it's 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 insanely cool. Because of your new band, it's like, oh yeah, you can you can get your music out there and you can get it on iTunes and you get all this in all these other places. But then how do you get anybody to listen to it? Right. You can discover so much new music through the internet, but then you have the problems of them downloading it for free and not paying for it. That probably doesn't help you guys out much, right? I mean you can't. The monetization of music has really just changed from these it's just moved to different corporations. Mm -hmm. It's moved to Google making money off of music. Mm -hmm. you know, because yeah, they pay some, there's some licensing that they pay here and there, but 
all these bands are creating because what it's like nine out of ten what nine out of ten uh, searches on YouTube are music related so so it's the second largest search engine in the world right. so you so so YouTube's getting all this free content which is owned uh, Google owns YouTube so they're getting all this free content to drive all these all this advertising and everything else um, you know and once again the artist is the last the artist has always been the last person to get paid when right. it comes to music so the whole music industry was founded on ripping off artists in fact when you record you know you, you may know this or maybe you don't know this when you record you record a record uh, for a record label um, it's work for hire they own that master mm -hmm. so you know the only thing you own is the songwriting and maybe you sold part of that off because you're trying to get some publishing money and you're trying to get an advance from a publishing company so maybe you sold off half of your publishing so you know so even after you know we've got records that in fact on my, on my we go back to YouTube on my YouTube channel the, per, the the company that owns the master removed guilty from the official gravity kills YouTube channel that's insane that's insane. That's fucked up is what it is. That's your most well-known <laughs> song. That's Yeah. That's yeah. ridiculous. So mm -hmm. what besides St. Louis, mm -hmm. what's your absolute most favorite city to play in? To most play in. electric, energetic, awesome crowd besides oh, St. Louis, man. of course. I mean, because we're obviously your favorite audience. St. <laughs> St. Louis probably you can go through the Midwest. St. Louis, Milwaukee, Chicago. Uh, New York audiences are always awesome. Um, always big crowds in LA, but the crowds aren't nuts, you know, because mm -hmm. they see a live show, like they, you know, the second national act they saw that night, you know, so they're like, you know, whatever, they don't care. Right. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, St. Louis, yeah, really in the Midwest, um, you know, or places like San Antonio, Texas, which people would think, you know, what a weird place, but it's such, it's like a tunnel metal town. Really? Yeah, it's like the last show we played there, it's like us and 3,500 screaming Mexicans. Wow. Yeah. So what I want to do now, I want to do a little rapid fire round. Oh, I'm going to yeah. ask. I'm going to give you two options, okay. and you have to pick one. Okay. The one that you like most. So ketchup or mustard? Mustard. Bacon or sausage? Bacon. Batman or Spider Man? Batman. Would you rather punch David Hasselhoff or Courtney Love? Hasselhoff. Are the Doors or Jimi Hendrix better? Doors. Groupies or hookers? Groupies. Thong or boy shorts? Boy shorts. Oreos or Chips Ahoy? Chips Ahoy. MILF or barely legal? MILF. <laughs> Blonde or brunette? Brunette. Tits or ass? Ass. Led Zeppelin or Pink Floyd? Zeppelin. Carpet or hardwood? If you know hardwood. what I mean. Hardwood. Okay. When you watch porn, do you prefer magazines or movies? Movies. Tequila or Jaeger? Tequila. B cup or D cup? Either way, really. B is fine. D, D, D gravity kicks in at some point. <laughs> Blowjob or penetration? Penetration. Taco Bell or McDonald's? Ooh, neither one really, but uh, if I have to choose, what are the lesser of two evils? Jesus, fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, uh, really, Taco Bell is probably more shit on Taco Bell. Do you like Chick fil A or KFC better? Mm -hmm. I like Chick fil A. Have you had Chick fil A? I had Chick fil A. Yeah, Chick fil A is good. KFC, you know, nice breast, chicken breast. Sorry. You know, We're going now. totally <laughs> off topic talking about fast food, but I'm really hungry, so I guess yeah, that's what my mind set on. Yeah, because off camera, she's been hanging out here for like two hours. Having a great time, I must mm -hmm. say. I mean, they were trying to turn me straight and everything, and I was just like, no, not having it. <laughs> not, not today, Jeff, not today. I know. Sorry. Story of my life. <laughs> so, on your records, you have had your song titles on the first two were all one word. Why the change on the third record? Um, you know, because when people make a set list, usually they're not gonna. Usually, when you make a set list, you don't you don't write out the entire name of right. the other title. Like it's like, I love name. you, honey, because you know you blow me awesome. You just That's write love song. you, right, or blow, right, right. Or whatever it is. Of course, though. So right. What am I thinking? <laughs> right, or whatever it is. <laughs> when I told you I was a penetration dude, but yeah, you know, either way, but. <laughs> But actually, no, but so we just, so in the first song, of course, was that we ever recorded together and wrote together was Guilty. Mm -hmm. So it, so the first three songs started that way and then we started talking about it and it was like, fuck it, you know, let's just do this one, you know, because that's how we write it down on the set list. And then, but the third record, I think we were just trying, yeah, the third record was like a, such a different record for us and it was like a metal record. And uh, I think we were just like, fuck it, you know, let's, 
let's try to reinvent ourselves a little bit and and then you know with new music you know maybe we'll have like titles that'll be like you know, yeah, new like, music. New yeah, music. it'd be like a yeah, it'd be like a t- you know like a Stone Temple Pilots, Tiny Music at the Vatican Gift Shop. That'd be like a name of the song, right? Or something, something totally off the wall, and right? That has nothing to do with the song, right? <laughs> Just the first thing that pops in your head, right? But people go, oh, when you talk about that st- that Stone Temple Pilots record, you say, oh yeah, the Tiny Vatican record, man. <laughs> Yeah, or whatever. It's a tiny music record. It's the Vatican yeah. record. It's whatever. You know, it's something, the same. Something people remember. Right. Or like people, like, yeah, I'm over at the pageant a minute ago. Like, oh, yeah, when's Gravity set? It means people even will shorten that. It's like right. two fucking words. Gravity you lazy kills. ass fucks. <laughs> and the last word is <laughs> It's two fucking violence. words. Right. Gravity kills. Yeah, you know, gravity, man. They're like, these guys are cool. You know, it's like, it's gravity kills, you lazy. Yeah, smoke another fucking joint. And because of all that, you Eat know, a cookie or whatever the fuck you do. Right. <laughs> Smallest words get abbreviated now. Right, like, totally, they good. Say, I mean, it's like, hey, who's, what's okay. gut going on? Who the fuck is gut? <laughs> <laughs> GK. They're, right. gonna, they're gonna start calling you gravy soon. Gravy, gravy. yeah. <laughs> if we get old enough, that'll be all I can eat. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I'm so happy that you took the time to sit down with me today, and we are so excited for you, you and the urge to come on tonight. That'd be cool. And I can't wait to meet the rest of the band. Yeah, yeah, they're they're over getting shit together. And, yeah. You know, you I'm the singer be... guy, so I just walk in. And... Oh, well, yeah, come on, you're yeah. the singer guy. <laughs> right. You guys are going to be great. St. Louis is buzzing about your show tonight. Once again, I'm Kara, the lesbian from the Tom and Jeff show. Jeff from Gravity Kills. Thanks for watching, from everybody. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> from Gravy. <Yeah. laughs>